Hello my dudes, my name is Leah and today I have another update for the Nightmare on Panning Street project pan. This project pan was created by Valerie and Jaylon. I'll have both their social media accounts listed in my description box, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. But this project pan is based around one of my favorite things, which is horror movies. So I'm working on six products at a time, and each product is tied to a different horror movie. It's rolling style, so when I hit my goal on one product, I'll roll it out and roll in something else. So we do have a really exciting update, so I'm just going to jump right on into the progress. So why don't we start off with the products that have been in this project the longest and the first one is my ColourPop Extra Glaze Cheek Palette. This is in for the movie The Ring, something that you want to expose the ring of the pan on, basically meaning just a product you want to hit pan on. So I brought in the shade Strawberry Strudel. It's a really pretty blush and my goal was to hit pan on it. So I'll show you what it looked like in our last update, but here is where we are at today. It's this bottom one here. We did hit pan on it. I used it nine more times for a total of 19 uses in the project to hit pan. These blushes are not my favorite formula. They're really loosely pressed, so when you dip your brush in, kick up just flies everywhere. The pans are really shallow, so it's super easy to hit pan on these. I mean, it's great for a panning aspect, but overall the formula is not my favorite. I do eventually want to do a pan that face palette with this because I think it's actually a palette I could be successful on finishing, but that's for another day. The packaging is also broken, which is annoying. It makes me want to get rid of it more. But yeah, this will be rolling out for this project, but stay tuned, it should come back for a Pan That Face palette. Okay, so our next movie was Frankenstein, and of course the prompt for Frankenstein was a Franken product. Now, I only have one Franken product in my entire collection, so it wasn't hard to decide what to put in for this prompt, and it comes from my Kat Von D Shade in My Eye palette. So I combined two of the cool toned browns in this palette, to make my perfect brow shade. So I'll show you what it looked like in our last update, but here is a picture of the pan completely empty. I did completely finish this product um, and I actually made a second batch. So I ended up putting the second batch in the same pan. I should have put it in one of these pans, but I prefer having it in the larger pan. So I just went ahead and pressed it in here. But for this project, I did completely use up that first Franken shadow, and that was my goal. So this will actually be rolling out. Although it looks like I still have product, it's a brand new Franken, and I did use up the original Franken that was in this project. So again, Frankenstein is rolling out and we will draw a new movie at the end of the video for it. Next, we have the movie Pet Cemetery. The prompt for that is Project Graveyard, which is a nod to Emily and Max. So I decided to bring in my The Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. This is like a really liquidy silicone primer is the best way to describe it. Um, and I think this was in my Roulette Pan Collab Project Pan. It was in some Project Pan, which is why I brought it in for Project Graveyard, but my goal was to finish it. So when we started off in this project, we were up here, and then last month we were down to this red line, and now, as you can see, it's completely empty. So I used this primer 15 more times since the last update for a total of 26 uses in this project to finish. So I'm really happy that it is done and we will be rolling this out and picking another movie to replace it at the end of the video. This was not my favorite primer. I don't really love those silicone primers. It works well enough and I was okay using it but I really wanted to get it out of my collection because I actually have a second one of these that my mom gave me because she bought her own and she didn't like it, so she gave it to me. So now that this one's done, I have to start working on the second one. But that'll be for a different project. Okay, and the last three products I'm going to talk about were rolled in during our last update. So I'll start with Jaws, and that is something water-themed. So I brought in my Dr. Jart Water Drop hydrating moisturizer. My goal was to finish it in our last update when it was rolled in. We were about to here. 
So it only took eight more uses to completely finish this product. It was kind of a gimme, but I really don't like this moisturizer and I needed a push to finish it. It's just not anywhere near moisturizing enough for my dry skin. Maybe if you have oily skin, you might like this, but for me, it was a hard pass. So I will definitely not be repurchasing this. But yeah, this product will be rolling out and we'll roll something else in its place later on. Okay, our next movie is A Nightmare on Elm Street. The prompt for that is a dupe for an item you dream about purchasing. So the item I tried to dupe was the Dior Rosy Glow Blush. Um, it's that really light, cool-toned baby pink blush that's like pH adjusting. I just have wanted that blush for so long. I think it's beautiful but I've never been able to justify it because it's not cruelty free, it's really expensive, and I have other things in my collection that kind of dupe it. So I decided to pull out my Menagerie Arthrene blush palette and I pulled out the shade Sugarberry. I felt like it was a pretty good dupe for the Dior blush. So it's this one up here and my goal was just to use it 10 times. So, so far I've used it eight times, so we only have two more uses to go. So this will definitely be rolled out for our next update, which is really exciting. I just don't reach for these cool toned baby pink blushes very frequently. I'm more of a peachy blush kind of girl, but yeah, I have really enjoyed playing with this and I'll definitely get my two uses in for our next update. And our last movie that's currently in this project is Poltergeist, something that's always here, meaning a must-have in your collection. So for me, a must-have in my collection is definitely concealer. I always need to have a concealer. My makeup just doesn't feel complete without a concealer. Even if I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look, I will still wear concealer. So I brought in my favorite concealer, which is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. So my goal is just to use this 30 times, and so far I've used it 23 times. I love this concealer. As I mentioned, it is my favorite, so reaching for this every day has not been a problem, and I'm sure I'll get up to 30 uses for our next update, but for now this will stay in the project. So that's everything that's currently in this project. We have four items rolling out this month. We have the Ordinary Primer, that's an empty. We have the Dr. Jart Moisturizer, which is an empty. We have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. The Franken is an empty. I did make a second one, but the second one is not in this project. And then I hit pan on the ColourPop blush. So we're going to roll in four new movies, which is really exciting. I don't think I've ever had a month quite this good in this project. So I'm just going to grab my Tiny Decisions app and we'll generate our new movies. Okay, so this wheel has all the movies I haven't pulled yet. So let's just generate four. Okay, so first we have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Then we have It. That's a classic. Love that movie. Our third prompt is going to be Dracula. And our last movie will be Get Out. All right, I'm gonna go grab some products for these and I'll be back to share them with you. All right, I'm back with my products. Let's start off with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The prompt for that is a duo or double-ended product. So I decided to bring in my Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade Soft Peach. This just has two really pretty peachy blushes. One is matte, one is shimmer. So I wanna use each one of these blushes 10 times, meaning I'll get a total of 20 uses in the entire compact. Our next movie was It, and the prompt for that is something that's scary as blank to pan. So I decided to bring in my Sydney Grace Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Master Plan. This cream eyeshadow has 10 mils of product, the thought of trying to pan this to completion scares the shit out of me, honestly. So I figured this would be a good product for this prompt. So my goal is just going to be to use this five times. I've had it for a year and I've only used it once, which is a shame, but I just really don't reach for cream eyeshadows. So it's something I'm not allowing myself to buy anymore, really. But I am just going to use it 
five times because I don't even know if I truly like this formula. So I just want to get a feel for what this product is like. This little slot here shows the color, so it's got this really pretty purple base with a green shift to it. You can actually see the shift better through here than when I swatch it on my arm, so I'll just show you guys that. But yeah, five uses on this one. Our next movie was Dracula, something that sucks the life out of you, and my mind went straight to liquid lipsticks. So I decided to bring out the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Malibu. Here is a swatch of it. It's like a cool toned purpley nude. Um, I think it's a really pretty color, so I'm going to set a usage goal of 10 uses. I just don't wear lip products very often anymore except for lip glosses and lip balms, so it's going to take a while to get those 10 uses for sure. But yeah, I am excited to bust out this lipstick. I want to test out the formula and see if it's something I want to keep in my collection. And then our last movie was Get Out. The prompt for that is something you want to get out of your collection. So I'm bringing in my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured in the shade Pearl. This has been in so many projects. I'm sure you've seen this before if you're familiar with my channel. There's really not much left. It's just a cream highlighter and I'm ready to finally finish this. I want it out of my collection. There's hardly anything left. I can definitely get this done relatively quickly, and yeah, I'm really excited for this to be an empty soon, so this will be rolling in for Get Out. But those are all the products that I have to share with you. Thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe, but I'll talk to you next time. Bye.